really occurred to me, and then we did we talked about this live on air. Uh, I'm guessing maybe two months ago, and uh, it occurred to me. Once I started seeing this crazy Saskatchewan uh, press five for assisted suicide, yeah. do you remember that? Yeah. I'm saying, okay, it hit me. It hit me between the eyes, and it makes me sad. But because I've lived half my life in socialism and half my life in capitalism, I've lived under socialized health care in Quebec. And yeah. what it was then to what it is now, a totally different story. But I said, and this is what – it broke my heart, and sadly I'm going to write a chapter about this, uh, is – in, in socialized medicine, say what you will, it is socialized medicine. It's universal uh, medicine, which is Canada, which is Britain. I think it's Australia, blah, blah. In all socialized med- uh, medicine, they will allow their citizens to die. Yep. And that is because of that top-tier age bracket. In the insurance industry, it's called uh, you know the actuarial tables and stuff, whatever. In the insurance industry, it's why you can't get life insurance policies when you're 85 years old. The insurance companies, as a matter of fact, in the United States, they don't even recognize a human being who's older than 100. At 100 years old in the United States, if you have any insurance policies, they cash you out. There's no such thing as someone over 100 years old. But sadly, with socialized medicine, our, our – Parents, grandparents, and grand, great-grandparents, we, we've all lost. We've all lost in this last decade, Mike. Yeah. All of those folks, because they, they're older, it's more expensive to treat them. Well, you know what? Yep. The United States doesn't tolerate that. And you go to an emergency room in the United States, they'll save your life no matter who you are. They will save your life. We saw them save the life of that little football player who, who uh, fell on the field. They saved his life twice before he got out of the stadium. He was dead, clinically dead twice before he got out of the stadium. That's United States health care. I will not take – there's a lot of tragedies down here, like up there, but I will not take anyone trashing the U.S. health care system because it is absolutely life-giving and amazing in many, many ways. Call 911 in the United States, and you see how many people are there to help you out and save your life, no matter how old you are, no matter how much money you make. No matter where you're from, you walk into an ER, they'll save your life, Mikey. So there you go. We talked healthcare of the day. Where do you want to go now? Yep. They they will save.